All right, TikTok, this one's gonna be a quick one because it's raining and I'm walking Sadie, but just got off another client call with a client out of Denver and fun story, he bumped into his ex at work. His ex's best friend works where he works in Denver and he recognized his ex walking through the office. She obviously knew that he worked there and he suspects that she was checking in on him. There's no reason for her to go to a place she doesn't work on the same floor where she knew he works to see her friend who works down two floors below. And I was very proud of this guy because he got triggered for a second and we've been working together on emotional control and emotional resilience and all these cool tactics that we've been discussing over the past couple months. And instantly he reframed his mind, said, cool, that's my ex, no worries. I'm pretty fired up, I'm gonna take that energy and then he put it into his next software demo and absolutely crushed it and made a huge sale and basically just, just slayed the day. And this is all about just taking like, it's called energetic transmutation. And when you can take the energy from a breakup or for, from something that you feel, you know, your, your kind of spine light on fire and you reframe it in your mind, you said, cool, I recognize that energy, there's a flare up here, I'm getting a little triggered and you immediately frame to say, I'm gonna take this amount of energy and I'm gonna apply it to this thing over here. You immediately are able to sort of pivot and reframe and crush that next thing. And this is essentially like step two or three of getting over a breakup. It's only been four months for him and he really liked this girl and she kind of cut it off and she immediately kind of moved on. Heartbreaking situation that has happened to like every single guy all over the world. But proud of him. And he didn't spiral, didn't go home, didn't go into any of his old vices and just immediately kind of moved on with his day. And this is how you essentially just continue on, right? It's very clear to her that he leveled up. He's dressed well, he's looking better, he's eating better. He's just, he's meditating, he's journaling, he's doing all these cool practices that we've been working on. And he's been consistent above all else. It's nothing radical that you haven't heard before, but the people the people that think all this stuff is foo-foo, no, you just lack the consistency to stay on course with the little things that you know will move yourself ahead, okay? Yeah, breakups suck. Yeah, I've had a ton of people reach out about them, but you have got to do the little things, taking time to acknowledge your feelings and then shifting and reframing from what you want to do, which is cry, scream about it, chase after them, go talk about it, be like, what the fuck are you doing here? To so be like, cool, roger that see it i'm gonna go focus on this and crush this which is exactly what he did so guys take a lesson here do not get emotional do not react your job is to level up it's to grow it's to get better and for women also out of relationships if you see an ex out there and about right your job is to also look better level up get into new hobbies it's not about who's winning or who's leveled up more but understand that exes always check on the people that they left you don't get to decide the time that they check up on you or they show back into your life. It's only your job to just level up because when they do, it's gonna crush them to see you doing maybe better than they are, right? But again, it's not about who who's winning, but you have one job after a breakup, after a split, and that is to level the fuck up. See you in the next one.